Tory because Lance has always been a really good personal friend of mine. And uh, I just remember when he got saved, and I was really glad he got saved because he needed it more than about anybody I knew. <laughs> <laughs> but I, when I think, when I, I wrote some stuff down, so I'm going to just kind of try to read it, and I'm going to try to get through it the best that I can. So when I think back about Pastor Lance, I have to go all the way back to the top. That's Tabernacle of Praise for mm -hmm. those of you that don't know. That's where he got saved at, or at least maybe rededicated at. Yeah. And it was there that I met my friend and my brother, uh, Pastor Lance in Christ. And he wasn't a pastor then, but I always knew he was destined for greatness. I did. I could see it on him. And God's Word said that he would have a peculiar people and even strange. <laughs> <laughs> well... That scripture really, I think, was printed in large print for Pastor Lance, to be honest with you, because it really doesn't get any stranger than him. And, but, you know, there's another scripture that says that he's the apple of God's eye. And I believe that Lance is the apple of God's eyes. And But for Lance, he, he is kind of a particular, and he's a little different. And he's a... I remember, and this is difficult for me to say, but I had Missy do some legwork for me, and she found some material. And when when I got saved, Pastor Lance was uh, just coming into church, too. And how many know about skinny jeans today? <laughs> you buy them for your children today at 50 bucks, but Lance was... was he was in skinny jeans before skinny jeans were cool. And uh, I'll never forget seeing him in those skinny jeans. And I, I tell you what, I found, I had Missy find me his skinny jeans. And, and uh, you know, and he used to have his ears pierced. And I don't know, he used to have these hoops in his ears, and I found those. He, can you imagine Lance wearing these? And then his skinny jeans. So. Those were his skinny jeans. I don't know how he fit into those. Things. But I do. Have, I did find Missy. Missy found something else, and I don't really quite understand what these are. Today's skinny jeans are leggings. So he might have had that underneath his uh, nutcracker outfit. But as I sit there and as I was thinking, I wanted to add some humor, but I also just wanted to share from my heart a little bit about Pastor Lance. You know, he, he's always been there uh, for me in my life. And I've always seen him be with other people. I've seen his heart and his character and his nature that he has for other people. He truly loves people. He, he gives his time, he gives his effort for other people, and he just loves the hurting. And I always seen that in him early on. And he has such passion for God. He always gave his best for God. I remember when he was helping me at Victory Village and we had uh, we was running around 75 to 150 kids a week busting them in. And Cindy was, was one of the bus drivers, I think, at the time, and, and Larry Brown. Yeah. And Lance was coming in helping. I always knew that he was going to take my place and he was going to do a better job of it than I did. And he did. He took it to a whole nother level because, you know, he's a big kid himself. <laughs> you know, I mean, it comes natural to him. He's, he's just, he's a wonderful person. Uh, He's, his faithfulness as a servant, his faithfulness as a leader, has really uh, inspired me uh, to be better at what I do. He has a, he's an excellent pastor. Yeah. I think he's an excellent yeah. preacher. Yeah. And I think he's an excellent teacher. Amen. Yeah. And you know, I only have a couple things against him. That he can preach better than me and he can sing. <laughs> <laughs> that bothers me just a little bit. <laughs> I got one talent, scream and yell and point. That's all I can do. But he can teach, he can scream, he can yell, but then he can sing. And I remember when he was young in those skinny jeans. <laughs> and he had those earring hoop in his ears. And he wanted to sing. And uh, he went to this, uh, to Ruth, Sister Ruth, and he said, I want to sing uh, something for the Lord. And he was having a hard time reaching a note. 
And I'm thinking, well, I don't see a problem why you're having a hard time in them skinny jeans you up your in my nose. You know? And he said he had a terrible time. And Sister Ruth said something. She goes, well, Lance, she asked him something, and he told him, she told, he told her what it was. And he said, well, if you sacrifice this for God, then I bet you'll hit that high note. And he was smoking at the time, and he gave up smoking. Just so that he could sing and give God his best. Yeah. You know what? And I was there that night he sang. And I'm going to tell you why. He sang Butterfly Kisses. And it was it was one of the most moving, awesome service I've ever been in. And the presence of God permeated from him. The love of God came from him. And you could feel the spirit of Jesus from him. And he, he's just truly a blessing to many people. He stood beside me. Ups and downs. It's a rarity. I'm blessed and I'm honored to thank my brother, my brother-in-law, my friend, he's a pastor. And I knew the first time we met, we were family. But I also knew he was a stalker. <laughs> I did not know what, how much of a stalker he was until he married my sister just to get close to me. <laughs>